Oh, quick, she's going away. Just anything. Oh, no, gross joke. Why did you pick gross joke? <laughs> John, you, you, you are despicable. What? What was that joke about? It was pants with pee on it. What, 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 what are you doing to her? In the sleepy suburbs of Desert Community Oasis Springs, there is talk of the trash-loving eccentric who roams these parts. <laughs> Rumour has it, he was touring the country in his beat-up old trailer, and whilst passing through Oasis Springs, his jeep broke down on the highway behind town. Instead of fixing it like most people would do, he unhooked that trailer and decided he would now be home. Let me introduce you to John the Prankster. Say hello, John. <coughs> Okay then, as you can see, John is indeed a prankster. He loves nothing more than tormenting anyone who will get close enough to him, also those lured in by his fanciful parties and colourful attire. John's lifelong desire is to become the ultimate jokester, pulling the most pranks and catching everyone out in town. Here we have front row seats and we get to check out John's every move in his endeavour to be crowned ultimate prankster. Today, John needs to work on his relationships so he has more people to prank. Come on, John, let's go out and see if we can find some people for you to play with. Hang on, sad bag face, no shoes. I'm sure this person could take a joke. Come on, John, go and introduce yourself. Don't mind us, lady. We'll get to you at some point. Just now, we are trying to impress Mr. Bagman with a friendly introduction. You're being very polite, John. He's been rambling for a good few minutes now. Maybe it's time you stepped it up a notch, given the prankster's introduction. We can scare Gia, implying Mother is a llama. Ooh. Or we could do an impression, but there's, that's just a bag. No, let's do the llama thing. That's it, you tell him. Oh, that wasn't a good sign, John. But then again, we, we haven't seen his face, so... Eh? Although a pretty despondent walk there. Never mind, we've got more people here to try your luck with. That's a lot squashed onto your front porch there. Seems you're Mr. Popular right now. Hopefully that continues. Well, you better let them in, because you can't all sit there just squashed up on the porch. Right, find a place to stand, folks, because there's definitely not enough room in here for you to all sit down. Wait, what with the smell thing? Oh, John, I told you not to leave your trainers out. It's not funny. Don't you be doing it as well? Let's get on to some pranking. So, John, what do you reckon this young lady would enjoy in terms of a prank? Fake bad news, fake party, fly about Korea. None of this fits. Wait, slap him silly. No, 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 John. That is not appropriate. No, we are not slapping people silly. What if we trick with a hand buzzer? That's more appropriate. Okay. <laughs> oh, did you mess it up? You messed it up. Look at your face. Not happy about that. If looks could kill. Let's let her cool off for a minute and we'll try our luck with Mr. Goatee here. I mean, he's, he's got the same haircut as you. And one impressive mole. Wow, look at the size of that thing. So, let's see, what can we do to mess with you? More mischief. Not the hand buzzer, though, because you're clearly getting that wrong right now. We're going to have to practice that. How about a good old scare? Yeah, let's scare him. <laughs> Think he took that rather well. He's not scowling. Oh, <laughs> oh, the prankster got pranked. That's it, John. If you can't take it, don't dish it out. Oh, I think this is going to be our best buddy. That's our bro. Twinsies. Hair twins for life. What for Sailor Moon at the door? And those puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Oh, John's going to crush this poor girl's spirit. I know it. I just know it. Come on then, John. Okay, let's see. What can we do to prank this fresh meat? Funny introduction again. Oh, oh, mock outfit. Yes, 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 yes. We are totally mocking that outfit. You dress like a Japanese schoolgirl. You're kind of asking for it. Ha, that's funny. <laughs> you tell her, John. So how'd she take that? Doesn't look angry like the other one, I don't think. Oh, no. 
I think it's much worse. John, okay. look what you did. <laughs> look at her face. Oh, she's sad. Look, you made her sad. Oh, Sailor Moon. She has the saddest face I've ever seen in this game. You literally can't get those eyebrows to sink down any further. Oh, that poor girl. John, say, seriously, John, you've got to fix this. This is this isn't on. That's mean. Find something something funny. Do something funny. Make her feel better. Make her laugh. Right, where's the funny stuff? No, we're not yelling at her. No, not forbidden words. Uh, get to know. No. Friendly? Ah, there we go. Okay. Funny. Let's yes, go. funny. Something funny. Uh, Give a gift. No. Oh, quick, she's going awake. Any, just anything. Oh, no. Gross joke. Why did you pick gross oh joke? <laughs> John, you, you, you are despicable. What? <laughs> what was that joke about? It was pants with pee on it. What, 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 what are you doing to her? Well, well, she's she's not crowded anymore. I I think you've just terrified the poor girl. <laughs> oh no, still underlying sadness there. Mm, we haven't fixed this yet, have we? Maybe our hair twin can help out. Come on, maybe he can help make this better. Right, bro, say something nice to her. There we go. That might be better. She's talking at least. Not looking terrified now. No thanks to you, John. But not giving up until this girl smiles. What else can we do, mischief? There is instill with false confidence. I wonder what that does. It might be false, but she's gonna believe it, right? Hey, hey lady, did you just take stuff out my fridge without asking? That is bad manners. You are in for the prank of your life. We're just gonna instill some false confidence back in this girl's life because we were really mean to her. Then I am gonna be dealing with you, yes. Honestly, I'm surprised this girl hasn't just walked out. I mean, you insulted her. Then you tell her some gross joke about pants with pee on them and she's still here. I don't know whether that says more about us or her, to be honest. I see the beginnings of a smile. There we go. Turn that frown upside down. Ooh, grouchy pink hair lady. Uh, she's still looking pretty mad. That's a very unhappy bunny. Oh, I'm scared. John, she's going to come back and stab you in your sleep. Famous van trip. Excuse me? <laughs> a what van trip? <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> I forget you said that. It's family friendly round here, you know. Okay, John, it's time to deal with this lady who stole your food. Well, she started preparing it without asking. What can we do to her? We could shout forbidden words. Although we just told off Sailor Moon for that, so maybe not. Maybe she should be nice, just enthused about mischief. Get a good rapport going with this lady. Well, when she gets back from the bathroom then, I guess. No, sure. Just someone goes to speak to you and you just head off to the bathroom. Manners, eh? Speaking of, look, look at her twin. He's even doing the dishes. Bless him. <coughs> what the heck have you done to our toilet lady? <laughs> I've, I've been here a day. This is your first visit. What did you do? I, I really don't know what to say. Um... Get out? That you are not welcome here. Right, chat, yell at. Yes, we're gonna yell at you. Who does that? This is a trailer. There's people within hearing distance of you. John, you've got permission for me to tell her off as harshly as you want here. Go for it, buddy. Sure. Yeah, Beats, you tell her. Big Cobra and tree. Ah, uh, a flush. Hey, don't blame the flush. It's not the flush's fault. <laughs> Oh, I destroyed your toilet, but no, it's the flusher's fault. Yeah, I, I don't like you, lady. No, not one bit. Now you're just acting really weird. I think you need to go. Yeah, and take Pink Lady with you too. She can't take a joke. Seriously, it's late. It's way past John's bedtime. You need to go. Just go away. Go. John, don't be having coffee. It's not the time. You won't sleep if you drink. I'm not going to let you drink that. Right, you two, just just get out. Get out. I don't care about your weird back issues. You know what would help? Not being in a trailer, probably. What else can I do to make you go home? Hey, don't be drinking that coffee. That's just going to make you go to the bathroom again. Look what you did to that last time. No, you're not using my bathroom again. John, finally, I think we're free. I think she's going. That's it. She's out. She's out. Never let her lock the door. Don't let her back in. 
Yeah, get out of here, you toilet destroyer. So that concludes day one in the world of John the Prankster. I think we've got pranked more ourselves. I mean, that toilet situation. <sighs> Gonna have to deal with that tomorrow. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've had a really fun time making this. I hope you've had a fun time watching it. So catch me next time when we'll do more adventures of John the Prankster. Bye for now.